Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Justin Davis from Drone Camps RC and I just wanted to do this follow-up video to a campaign that we started um, just a, a day before yesterday. I did start this campaign in the hopes to help somebody, uh, particularly a local boy who's around 10 years old. Uh, this is a very sort of controversial topic with some people and um, I just want to give you some background into this topic and really kind of let you understand where I'm coming from when it comes to helping young people get into our hobby. Now, first and foremost, I've been an AMA member since the 80s. Um, I am very dedicated to helping other people get into our hobby. If you know me personally, you know that's my goal is to just share as much content about RC aircraft as I possibly can with others, uh, adults and children, and help anybody that I possibly can uh, in any way. And this campaign was started by a picture that I posted on my Instagram of our young friend with his homemade goggle helmet, um, super cool. Eli is just an amazing, amazing person. Uh, at 10 years old, he's doing things that that I probably couldn't have dreamed up. I was playing um, with GI Joes and stuff back in those days, and I wasn't building things from scratch. You know, um, he, he has a really uh, introspective look into mechanical constructions. So he's—I mean, he—he's a—he's an engineer in the making. This kid, and this is very well deserved for him. So. This picture went viral on Instagram, and it got shared all over Facebook. Uh, I think we we had we had uh, like 360 shares on the campaign itself, so it went super viral. And we we raised the money uh, for his new goggles in about 17 hours. Um, so all the guys in the FPV community came together, and they donated five to ten to twenty. And, and we haven't had one guy donate fifty dollars. Now, I've, I've got to say that this is a very well-deserved reward for this young man, mainly because I've gotten to know him, and I've I've seen what he's capable of, and I and I think that the community sees that too. When they see this picture, we all kind of identify with that picture because half of what we're doing here is actually creating something from scratch. Um, you know with components and we're putting these components together to make something work and that's the biggest thing about this is that we do this by ourselves and then we get other people to help us uh, at some point along the way um, some of us need help from others to 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 make sure things are 100 percent working properly and uh, you know he, he put those goggles together all by himself those homemade goggles uh, you can probably see a picture of it here. I'll show a picture of it on the video. But I will encourage young people to fly. I will always do that. I, I will not uh, stop trying to show this this content to people um, and, and just help people learn RC in general. Now, just to give you a little bit of background where, where I'm coming from, you know, I, when I was growing up, I didn't have a dad. Um, my dad left my family. He left us when I was about two years old. And so, you know, as a young person, a young male growing up in the 80s, um, you kind of uh, look for that father figure somewhere uh, to fill that kind of void. And I, I was really passionate about airplanes. I studied rockets in, in uh, Encyclopedia Britannica. I just loved the um, the, the space, um, the space shuttle and all that stuff that was going on. I really, really loved aviation. And, um, I think I dreamed about RC airplanes, you know, when I was around Eli's age, you know, I used to get the magazines and circle the airplanes and tower hobbies magazine that I wished I had. And one year my dad sent me this RC airplane and, uh, I couldn't fly it. It was too big. It was, it had an eight foot wingspan on it, you know, and it made my mom kind of upset because she knew I, there was no way I could fly this thing and I didn't have anyone to teach me how to fly it. There's no way. So it hung above my bedroom ceiling for years and I 
stared at that thing, you know, going to sleep at night and dreamed about flying. And, uh, uh, you know, one day I, I met this guy and he worked at the local surf shop. I grew up on an island, so I, I grew up surfing and stuff. So I was always in the shop and we, t we started talking about planes for some reason. And I guess he was 25 or 26 at the time. And uh, his name was Eddie, and, and Eddie said, hey man, why don't you, um, well that's cool you have that plane, let's fly it sometime, I'll help you learn how to fly it. Uh, so I was like, really? You help me? That's awesome. So, I, okay, I'd love to, for you to, to help me with that, because I don't know how to get this thing up in the air, this big glider. You know, it came with this giant slingshot spool, and so he took me out, and he taught me the basics of flight. He also taught me... Um, taught me how to lay out balsa wings and use glue to put them together and uh, how to handle epoxy safely and uh, work with nitro motors and tuning them and understanding how the uh, the uh, coils worked and everything and, and you know how to uh, how to prime them and all that and I got really good at tuning motors and it was, became one of my favorite things and uh, Eddie without Eddie I, I, I would have had a hard time and so he, he passed his knowledge on to me and that was really awesome that he did that and um, now that's why I, I like to pass it on to others and uh, long story short Eddie went down to Puerto Rico one year and uh, passed away in a car accident he went down there on a surf trip and never came back and that same year my uncle died who was around 18 and so I had a tough year that year 1989 and I uh, kind of got depressed and I, I, I don't think I flew another RC airplane for 10 years after that. Um, so later in my 20s, in my early, you know, earlier 20s, uh, I started flying again and, and all that stuff came back to me. All that stuff that Eddie taught me came flooding back into my, to my memory and it made me feel really, really good. Like being out there, it, it just made me feel 10 years old again. And I love that feeling, and I still love that feeling. Even when I fly something that a company from China sends me for free, I still feel good when I fly. And uh, I know all of you guys do too. So, I started also in the same time around kiteboarding and teaching other people how to kiteboard. We did these three-day kite, kite camps, they were called. Um, did that for about four or five years and flying RC airplanes and helicopters the whole way through that time um, and I got out of that industry and then I started to get into this industry um, and when I got into this industry I was thinking of a name for our company and I thought of it and I thought of it and you know I thought about passing it forward passing it forward educating the public um, educating people and teaching classes and doing demos and workshops and and traveling to teach other people how to do this um, and so I came up with drone camps and that's where drone camps came from it came from the original kite camps idea um, that we would teach these these classes on on how to, to fly drones because you know it's kind of like jumping the fence and running over to a helicopter and trying to start it up a full-size helicopter and fly by yourself without knowing anything about it you can't do that so uh, you need training to do that and a lot of times training is not free uh, but with the internet thank god we can all kind of tap into what we want we can usually learn about it on youtube so this is a very important platform for that and now i can reach out to more people than ever all around the world thousands of people so long story short if you're still with me i appreciate you um, listening to this uh, i wanted to post this follow-up video because i think you guys need to know um, where i'm coming from when, I, when i'm talking about educating the youth and and uh, rewarding rewarding someone the you see has passion to do something uh, we, we reward our kids in school all the time when they do something good and um you know when i when i was in school i got art awards and when i did something great in a gallery i won a contest or whatever uh, i got rewarded for it and that 
kind of just pushed me and made it made the wave that I was riding just a little bit bigger each time. So it, it built my confidence that um, that I could be a, a, a good a good artist. And uh, so that was part of that was part of my growing up was art and um, later became video and graphic design, which that's why I do a lot of YouTube now because um, I was a video major. But uh, so everything all comes back um, comes back to full circle. And I believe that if we do pass this, if we pass our knowledge on and we, we, we do take the time to pass it on to the youth and to other friends of ours getting into the hobby, I think that's the biggest favor we can do anybody is just be kind um, to them and uh, respect them and, and respect other people as well. E even if it is Facebook comments, um, try not to do a lot of name calling on the internet because um, you know it doesn't make you feel any bigger of a person when you do that so um, just respect everybody FPV community is a very small community and uh, we have to we have to really respect each other especially because we're gonna see each other at races sometime somewhere around the country so I wanted to take this time to tell you about that explain something about my background a little bit and tell you about why we decided to reward this young man with some goggles. Um, it, is a, it is a real personal thing to me, um, the RC hobby. So I, I know it is to a lot of you guys too, and uh, I, I appreciate your time today watching this video. So if I can get some video or a photo or something uh, of us giving this young man his goggles, I'll definitely do that part. So thank you again, everybody that supported this campaign and and helped out fund this fundraiser it was a once one one time thing for me um, if i can help in any other way going forward i definitely will i'm not gonna you know spam the the uh the feeds the facebook feeds with fundraisers but i'm gonna tell you that it's definitely it was not any type of scam it was just something that i felt that we should do and and others felt we should do for this this kid so He's super awesome. Congratulations, Eli. You're going to be a great pilot. Thank you guys for all your support and watching this video. Hey guys, welcome to the farm. I'm Justin Davis from Drone Camps RC. I'm here with a young FPV pilot. His name is Eli. Give you a little backstory of what we're doing here. A few weeks ago, we took a picture of him wearing his homemade goggles. He took some dollar store foam, a monitor, some, got some diversity on there, and he set up his own goggles in his garage at home. So we showed the picture to the community. It went viral, it went all over Facebook. Um, some of the guys sent me emails and said, hey man, let's get this guy some goggles. Let's get him some proper goggles. So the FPV community responded and this is what they came up with. $310 in about 17 hours for this young man to have some goggles. So I'm super excited the way you guys responded. I want to say thank you so much. Everybody that donated, this is for you guys and for Eli. So That's thank nice. you so much. And we're going to present these to him now. These are the SJ. VO1s by SkyZone. Has dual diversity on here. Check them out. There they are, the ones you've been waiting for. We're going to have to put the other ones on the shelf Whew. as a trophy. Pretty nice, huh? Oh, yeah. You like them? Yeah. So it's going to clean up his view a lot. The other monitor was really close to his face, so it was really bad for his eyes. So you guys did a great thing. Getting these goggles for him, it might save his vision. He won't be nearsighted in uh, three flights or so. We also got a couple batteries in here for you. 
These are a little larger, they're 2800 milliamps, so they'll last a little longer. We've got some cloverleaf Amways for you. We can just put one of those on one side. You can upgrade those later too for some nicer antennas if you want. We also have an Esheen uh, DVR so you can record your flights. That would be really nice. And then we have some extra foam in here to make it nice and comfy. That's it guys, so thank you so much. We're gonna do some flying now and we're gonna burn up some packs. But yeah, thanks. Hopefully you've seen some of the, the footage that we show earlier of the innovation that Eli has. So when you're out and flying with the youth, if you're working with youth in the aviation industry or the RC industry, it's really important to support creativity and foster more interest in aviation. If you can do that, it's gonna go a long ways. So this young man definitely has the drive to do what we do. We're inspired by that and we're reacting by that. So thank you so much again. I'm Justin Davis from Drone Camps. We'll see you on the next one. Whoa, it's like HD here, man. Whoa. Oh my gosh. I feel like this is, I still have a signal.